Do you really know how the smartphone in your hand right now was invented? Let's begin. Planck's idea of quantized energy helped Einstein explain the photoelectric effect, showing that light isn't just a wave, but a stream of particles called photons. Building on that, Niels Bohr proposed that electrons orbit the nucleus in fixed energy levels, finally explaining why atoms emit sharp lines of color, not a continuous spectrum. These breakthroughs, along with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, Dirac's and Schrodinger's equation, laid the foundation of quantum mechanics, a new physics of the very small. That theory made possible the invention of the transistor, a tiny switch that controls electron flow with astonishing precision. But to truly harness the power of transistors, we needed a blueprint for thinking. Alan Turing imagined a universal machine, one that could perform any calculation using simple binary logic. Transistors gave rise to logic gates, which followed Turing's model, breaking complex tasks into binary decisions. These gates were assembled into logic circuits, then microprocessors, and with advances in microfabrication, we shrunk billions of these tiny components onto chips just millimeters wide. We shrunk these transistors to just three nanometers wide, packing billions of them into the chips that power the smartphone in your hand. So, we can conclude all this into a single understandable statement. That is, the explanation of the quantum world and the behavior of subatomic particles is the basis of our entire digital world and made the device possible on which you are watching this video today.